a little bit. Yeah. I got all our stuff. Did you sleep okay? Uh, yeah, it's 4.50 a.m. I brought some knoppers. <laughs> Perfect fit. One minute early. Would you just look at it? What are we doing? Where are we going? What are we shooting? We're going to a little town called Minocqua, Wisconsin. We're currently on our way to a shoot for Downforce Motorsports. So they brought his car, which is a Ford GT40. The sleep. Mr. Spot. Ben. <laughs> Should we switch drivers? You're supposed to say yes. Because now I'm going to drive. Should we switch drivers? Yeah, we should switch drivers. Update Jacob's not driving. Yes. Because I'm sleepy. One hour, 25 minutes. Aren't your hands going to get sticky with the syrup? No syrup. No syrup. Straight up. Gotta get, get the whole sequence, you know. You gonna turn it on or what? <laughs> Push the clutch button. Uh oh. <laughs> what? Your max throttle is only 85%. But I want 100%. All right, everybody, it is now 8.40. We have officially arrived in Wisconsin. We pulled into our little spot at this cafe. Turns out it's closed on Tuesdays. Right now, we're just unpacking the back of it, get kind of everything out. And uh, first on the list of things to shoot today, we'll be flying the camera off the front. Hey, Jacob, what do you have there? It's time to shout out our favorite company, Motocrane. Well, <laughs> obscure it too. Motocrane. Speed rail coupler, their PSC unit. So what they're going to do is sell a kit of four foot speed rail sections that are pre-drilled with this hole that then meet up perfectly with this coupler fed through by this bolt. And then this creates your speed rail sections. Stand by. Boom. And what this allows you to do is clamp together sections of speed rail for however big you need. I would be willing to bet that Golden Peaks has the most miles flown with their Flow Cine Black Arm and all the parts that go with it. For a lot of our rally work, we built the camera in the morning, we drive for nine hours, just like five or 600 miles in a day. Then we take it off, we do it again three days in a row. Facts. Facts. Time. That happened in 15 minutes and 36 seconds. That is correct. Grant, why do we do the safety straps? Safety. Go double check everything. Make sure it's all tight. That's good. All right, Jacob, what have we done? What do we do now? We're doing front facing rig car shots. never meant to be driven on the street. We need so, to get an intro from Dan so people know who we're filming. <laughs> so, this is Dan. <laughs> Dan, you own Downforce Motorsports. I do. Give us the spiel. Give us the spiel. We're out here in my hometown of Minocqua filming um, our Ken Miles GT40 Eliminator. So it's pretty exciting. It's cool to be back home to do something like this. And so it's like one of those lifelong dreams, you know. One day I'm gonna I'm gonna do this, that, and the other thing. I'm gonna come back with a cool car. Well, I did it. <laughs> back in the hometown with yeah. the coolest car. This is the only Superformance GT40 ever done in this paint scheme. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool to have the first of something and the only of something. 
That is sweet. And you've already placed an order for its brother. I have. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do 2431. We're going to do a Mario and Dirty Edition. So we're excited about that. I'm assuming there's a customer out there that's going to jump on it because that'll be the first one of it's ever been done. So Super Performance hasn't done a Mario and Dirty Edition. So that's awesome. Pretty exciting. I even went as far as to call Lee Holman over at Holman Moody so he could pull his paint schematics from the car, from the archives, and find out, hey, how do we need to paint this thing? What colors do we need to use? You know, yeah. things like that. Yeah. So, that's so cool. Yeah. Well, they'll either ask what it is or why I got both gas tanks open when I'm only feeling from one side. <laughs> like everything else in a GT40, this is unique. The gas tanks are connected, but you got a vent from the side you're not filling from. So if you're filling from here, you got to open it up over there so the fumes will get out on the other side. Oh. See, I wouldn't have even known that. Yeah, the crazy part is in the 60s, though, they used bladders that would chafe and leak. Oh. And then the crossover tube is actually in the cockpit above the driver's knee. So that's one of the things that, that we changed when we designed them. What do you think? <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> you find some shade? Found some shade on this nice hot day. What are you doing? We're taking our famous camera setup <laughs> from the front of the car. <laughs> All right, so we're at a little bit of a pit stop here. We are currently in the rebuild process. The camera was on the front. Now it's going on the back. That's what Grant's working on. I was actually doing a couple phone calls and then Finest flying job. We're going after a beautiful lake shot of the one and only, literally, Ken Miles GT40. We, we did buy gas so that we're not just using this pump, right? Correct. Yeah, we bought we bought gas so that we could use this spot. Because we needed so sunny. We needed some shade. We're gonna start selling merch. Heck yeah! I gotta build a website and order merch. Oh, and we're then, selling merch? And then we can sell it. <laughs> if you guys want the merch, let us know. Establishing. Well, so he will chase us now. Or I guess we'll lead him. Yes. And we're kind of wrap it up towards the end of the shoot. Update time, what time is it? Well, there's the police behind us. You should get out and film that. And we've been testing her up and down the road. We're just filming footage. We, we, we are back in town right now. We're literally backing out and heading to town. Okay, we, <laughs> we're getting some complaints over on Mid Lake Road, the thoroughfare road. Yeah. On your vehicle here. So. We, it's not quiet. Yeah, that's so like we're weird. not zooming up and down the road. We're driving behind everybody most of the time, but it's just loud. Okay. We were literally backing up to go back into town. <laughs> Fair enough. We were catching the whiff of the locals. Yeah. So we move on. Uh, I told them, I said, it probably won't be too long because the car's not quiet. But, and sure enough, you pulled up. Yeah, people get rattled up here and I'm get all bent into shape. It. And Come on, Dan. What? <laughs> you didn't us in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate your time. All right, Thank you. Thanks. Gentlemen, Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ben, where are we? We are at our final location. We're going to be shooting the interview right now with Dan. Dan's going to talk about the GT40, we chose this kind of rundown garage spot for the background and uh, Jacob is getting the detail shots. And we have the two cameras set up for the interview. Uh, one camera is going to be getting the wide shot. This camera is going to get the tight shot. Do something cool, Jake. I'll get my shot. All of the things we do for Jacob. All right, so this is the diffuser. A little bit of light comes through here, but it's also like a shadow, like a big shadow. Because if I remove this, you would see my head in the shot and it would create an outline in the interior, which would not look good. So, by holding up this diffuser, it allows some light to get through, and it's like a soft light, so it doesn't create any hard shadows. Um, and Jacob gets a nice quality studio looking shot. Details, it's all in the details. All right, I need monitor batteries. Story of my life, battery dead. Bye, Dan. Next part of this video will either be episode two or the second half of this one episode in South Carolina. Transition. So we're about to land in Charlotte, North Carolina. Welcome to Charlotte. Welcome to Charlotte. You're gonna miss the sign. What do we get to do? Carry three cases that weigh more than 80 pounds across the parking lot into the garage to the fifth level to our car. Jacob, we're gonna need a cart. Yeah. Dang. 
How heavy? That's probably 500 pounds. <laughs> that's a lot of weight. What's the heaviest thing you've ever pushed? This. The Flow City Black Arm. Do you know what we rented? No. <laughs> what did we rent, Jay? What did we? I rented us something cool, Grant. What did we rent? I rented a Tesla. You rented no. a Tesla? No. Okay. You rented a Suburban. No. Hang on. I gotta figure out where we're going. This is Turo. Turo is awesome. 5B. Take a ride at 5B. The heaviest package. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just got that. <laughs> Look how far they go. They went... <laughs> we'll put it back on there, huh? <laughs> this is like a million pounds. I don't know how I'm supposed to move all this. Let's get it open. <laughs> okay, we're back. We fixed we it. Recovered. Our car's right around this corner, apparently. We're now on 5B. The first question is how, but you'll understand momentarily. Ta-da! Convertible M3. Hey! I'm just kidding. We rented the M4. How are we gonna fit all this <laughs> into an M4? Let's just show the people what we fit in here. Do you remember that cart? We got our Flow Cine. I mean, we've got our motor crane box here. We got three camera bags stacked in back. Underneath it all, we've got a Rona 2 box and a Flocini box. We're about to bomb it. We're gonna get some lunch. We got a bomb to Carolina Motor Park, Motor Works Park, Racetrack. You know, sometimes when you go and pick up a rental car, it's not quite suited to you. Yeah. And, you know, in Minnesota, we have to have hands free on the wheels, so everyone has a phone mount. This car we picked up does not have a phone mount, so. Yes. Jacob, I made a phone mount. What are you doing? It's like, it's like I got double heads up this plane now, so I'm, I'm planning our route. We got an hour and a half drive to Carolina Motorsports Raceway. And look at this. That's I'm pretty impressive. I'm ready, bro. It ro even rotates with me. Wow. <laughs> Jacob, where are we? Continuation of the vlog that we've already established that we already filmed one day of. This is day two. We're at Downforce Motorsports Super Performance. We're gonna do some interviews now. We're gonna shoot some more B-roll of the car and make a really sexy commercial. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes B-roll shooting. <laughs> Dan, you remember the small camera? I always remember your small camera. That's not the only small thing you carry, is it? <laughs> Are you used to carrying small things? I carry small things. Oh, uh, you carry small cars. <laughs> That's because they're light. <laughs> Good save. Yeah. What are we doing now? Well, you guys came and filmed the other half of our video. That That's we right. Did up in Monaco. We're at your beautiful shop. we're in our awesome showroom. Beautiful show. It almost Just, looks like you've taken over my show. The camera boxes look good there. They do. The only person who brings more boxes is my detail. <laughs> or maybe the shipping company when you get a new order. Yeah. No, they do. <laughs> Real talk? Real, Real talk. Real talk. Look how good that M4 looks right now. Uh, you know what I think we need? I think we need an M4. The M3 is not treating me well. Maybe I should switch. Mm. Mm. Ben's got us covered. He's got the F80. He should sell his F80 and buy an F82. No. Sedan's over coops, bro. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, real talk. Yeah. This yeah. is the stripped down cheapest version of Downforce Motorsports Superformance 4 GT 40 Mark 1. Correct. And I think it's actually one of the best looking specs. I love, he calls it the, like the naked spec. Yep. So he paints it a solid color leaving options for owners to come and add the stripe. In some ways, I like the Mark I more than the actual car we're filming, which is Mark II. But then you've just got Cobras. Cobras are the bread and butter. You know it is your style, hmm. the fast one. That one is totally my style, but that one's like <laughs> 50, 160. Much more. <laughs> everybody we just finished up our project down here in South Carolina with Downforce Motorsports we are now back on our way up to Charlotte North Carolina to drop off the M4 thanks for watching